Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see about the setup and configuration of Optronics RL821GWV ONU for BSNL FTTH connection. Inside the box, the ONU comes along with a adapter, LAN cable, and RJ12 cable for landline. The aesthetics of the modem are very nice. You can see the low light blinking because I haven't plugged the optical fiber. This modem has two LAN ports and two Wi-Fi. Antennas with a POTS port for landline. Getting into the configuration, we are plugging in the ONU to the laptop by the LAN cable. Open a browser and enter the IP address. 192.168.1.1 A login window opens, enter the login credentials given from the back of the modem, which is user admin and 1234. Once logged in, go to network. You can see that the WAN setup page missing. This is because the firmware prohibits WAN setup for users. But, not a problem. Just log out and then enter the username as admin. And the password is ONU in capital letters followed by, at symbol, followed by last four digits of the MAC address of the ONU in small letters, lowercase. The MAC address can be found at the bottom of the modem. You can pause and see the notepad file in the screen for clarity. Now, after logging in, you can go to Network tab and see the WAN page. Delete the default TR069 WAN profile. Now, click Add. And click New WAN Interface mode, root, service, internet, you can leave the binding option as such or tag them. Doesn't matter. Enable DHCP server. Link mode is PPPoE. IP version is IPv4. VLAN mode is tag and then enter the VLAN ID provided by the LCO or ISP leave the other terms as such. Now enter the PPPoE username and password provided by the LCO, which is usually three letters of the name followed by landline number followed by underscore sit at fth.bsnl.in the password is password itself. Server name can be anything. Apply and then go to status, WAN. You can see the new WAN there. Now, go to network. WAN. Click add. This time it's to configure WAN. Our voice. The mode is root. Service is voice. Link mode is EPO. IPv4 and IP acquisition mode is DHCP. VLAN mode is TAG and the VLAN ID can be either 1831 or 1849, for connections after April 2021 in some areas. Apply, now in status, WAN. You can see two WAN connections point one for internet and the other for voice. It is disconnected because I haven't plugged the fiber cable. Again go to Network, LAN make sure DHCP is enabled.
Go to Olin and set up Wi-Fi name and password in the SSID column and WPA pre-shared key column respectively. Go to SNTP and set the NTP servers for the time. You don't have to change anything in security. Now, for voice SIP setting, go to Application. Under Advanced NAT, enable SIP ALG and apply. Now, go to VOIP. Enter the SIP server data. For the state of TN, with VLAN ID 1831, the SIP servers are 10.187.7.12 or voice.tn.fttvoip.bsnl.in. For others states it slightly varies. Also, with VLAN ID 1849, the SIP server is tn.fttth.ims.bsnl.in after entering the data in the columns. Enter the account number which is 91 followed by area code followed by landline number. The password is provided by the LCO. Enter it here apply. Go to status, VOIP and you can see the VOIP data there. Once the fiber cable is plugged in, and when the LCO binds the Mac of the modem in his alt, you can start browsing, if it is new and bought by you and configured by you. If it is given by Elko, he must have already binded it. You can simply configure and start using. If you like the video, click on the like button. And for more videos don't forget to subscribe our channel. If you have any doubts please comment down here. Thank you.